Cancer, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of September 11th through the 17th. This is for Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising signs. So Cancer, for this reading I'm using the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot deck along with the Healing with the Angels Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. Cancer. So at the bottom of the deck, I do have the Knight of Cups. Very nice. Okay. So with the Knight of Cups, this can be maybe another water sign person. So another Cancer or Scorpio or uh, a Pisces person. That's very significant. Also, this could be an offer, an opportunity, some news, some information that's coming your way. For some of you, it will be on the romantic front. Um, the Knight of Cups for me can often represent, you know, someone from your past. It can be an ex, but it also could be a friend or someone that you are acquainted with. This could be a person coming forward and extending their cup to you. So for some of you, especially you single cancers, this could be someone asking you out this week. This could be a romantic offer or opportunity that's coming in for some of you. And the overall energy is actually the Queen of Cups. So you're very much in your element, Cancer. So I really like to see this. Um, this is really nice with the Queen of Cups, no matter if you're a male or female. You know, she's very loving, very caring, very giving, very, very compassionate, very generous. And she's highly, highly in touch with her intuition. So definitely the weak to follow your heart, to listen to your intuition, definitely. Let's see here. The Queen of Cups for me is a little bit more emotional than the King of Cups, so it can be a little bit more of an emotional week for some of you, um, but that's that's not always a bad thing. I am getting a, a strong Scorpio. I'm also getting a strong Pisces energy here, so... There definitely could be some cancers that you're dealing with, a Scorpio, or you're dealing with a Pisces person. Uh, we are starting out with death. So death represents great change, transformation. It can be something ending within your life and creating that space for something new to come in. We did just have a full moon um, that passed. So maybe something has, has ended for some of you. Um, but with death, there's always a new beginning. Death represents great change, transformation. So for some other cancers, this could be some sort of great change that you're going through. Something is changing. It will never be the same. These two together can definitely represent some sort of rebirth that you're going through. Also, there can be some cancers that you're healing. You're definitely healing and maybe starting all over again in a sense. This does represent recovery. Death does represent the sign of Scorpio. So again, there could be a Scorpio person that's significant. With judgment, though, and death, there could be some cancers that you might have like a legal matter matter that's ongoing. Maybe you're receiving that, that legal decision this week because we have judgment. And then I also have the two of wands. So for some of you, it can be a legal decision that's 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 coming through this week. It might have something to do with a man because we have the emperor here. So for some of you, this can be your husband. The emperor is a married man, a father. So this can be a gentleman. This can be a man, your significant other that maybe has something to do with this. If this is a divorce, there can be some of you that are, are getting a divorce or maybe you have a legal matter uh, that's ongoing with this older gentleman can be a father for some of you, or even a boss with the emperor. Uh, if this is another person here, can be an Aries. So for some of you with the emperor here, this can be a character, this can be a person that has something to do with this matter. For other cancers, this is you maybe taking back your power in some way. This can be you taking control, you making a decision with judgment. You might be hearing the call, taking action, uh, making those plans to do this. For those of you that are walking out on a new path or starting something new 
or even for some of you focusing on healing a relationship. This can speak about second chances. You actually might be moving forward and for some of you, moving forward and actually even apologizing or you could be receiving an apology. For some of you, this can represent second chances, but I see some of you making a decision or receiving a decision for some of you that allows for you to move forward. Very interesting. I think that some of you, though, are preparing yourself to do this or you're preparing yourself. Um, you're making those plans. You're, you're definitely preparing yourself to walk down this new path and move forward in some way. And with this energy, you know, this could be a spiritual awakening. This could be, you know, your intuition really guiding you here when it comes to this matter. But because we have the Page of Swords here, I have the Page of Swords, I have the Nine of Swords. We have some Swords energy here as well. I think that some of you are delaying this or you're in the process, again, of, of, of planning things out. And I think that there's some fear, there's some worry. This is that mental energy. So with the Page of Swords, there can be some of you that are procrastinating a little bit. You could be delaying doing this because maybe you just simply need some time. You're gonna plan things out here. Try not to stress. Some of you are maybe losing sleep over this. You're worrying unnecessarily here. And if you need more time, you need more time. Stay out of your head, stay positive. Some of you could even be yeah, you're maybe moving forward. You could be procrastinating or moving forward very slowly when it comes to this because you're a little unsure. So I think that some of you need some time here. And you also need to let your guard down in some way. You need some time to plan things out. And I think that you're also maybe fearing that there's going to be some passionate discussions or maybe some arguments when it comes to this matter. But there's really no need to worry. These are such powerful major arcanas. Death is taking place. This transformation, this, this rebirth, this recovery, this is taking place. Um, but some of you need to just maybe stay positive, needing to kind of think about it more, maybe needing some, some more time to make those plans. For other cancers, you're, you're moving forward this week. I think that I am speaking to a, a select group of you, though, that are a little unsure when it comes to something. You're on the fence. And again, maybe some of you are apologizing or, you know, this can go both ways. So maybe someone needs to kind of figure out how, how they're going to maybe apologize how they're maybe even going to approach a situation, a person. And if it's not, if it's not another water sign person, it can be this fire sign. So maybe an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo, because we have the Queen of Wands here. This also can be this Queen of Wands who's, you know, delaying maybe this communication, reaching out to someone um, as well. And with the Page of Swords, there even could have been some sort of disappointment or bad news around this person, around this fire sign person. So maybe this person delivered some bad news to you or you know you delivered some bad news to this person. But if that's the case, I feel like that's already happened for, for those of you that can, can relate to that. I feel like that's already happened. It's in the past, but you're, you're worrying about it now. Yeah, so definitely a very interesting reading. Watch your other signs. Uh, this is just a general reading, Cancer. I'm just the messenger. It's not bad. It's not bad at all, but I think it's for a select group of you guys. Um, so watch your other signs. But you are going through this, this rebirth, that's for sure. Um, there's endings for some of you. There's new beginnings for other Cancers. You're going through this change, this transformation. And if news is delayed with when with coming to you, keep the faith, stay positive, uh, listen to your intuition this week because that news is, is, is on its way. It's coming in um, for many of you. It just might be delayed or you could even be delaying reaching out to someone for whatever reasons. It's, it's connected to fear. 
and you you know so just take caution here with the nine of swords it's just a minor kind of energy so by you watching this reading you can maybe do something about this um so stay out of your head stay positive the queen of wands if this is your energy you taking action you manifesting she's very outgoing and she's very passionate and she's also very very optimistic so some of you that's the advice needing to be more optimistic and needing to move forward but let's pull you an additional guidance card additional guidance for cancer for this upcoming week what does cancer need to know please show me Because we have a couple of pages here, for those of you that this isn't about maybe a relationship or a family matter, there could be something going on with your children. Maybe some of you have a legal matter that's ongoing. It might have something to do with your children. Or you're just waiting on that, maybe that legal decision. balance. I think this resonates very much here. We have balance. So with the Queen of Cups as the overall energy, which I mentioned for me, she's she's more emotional than the King of Cups. So staying in balance, keeping your emotions definitely balanced this week is important for many of you. Really, really listen to your intuition, follow your heart, stay out of your head. For some of you, this is going to be you needing to balance your thoughts, definitely. If you're thinking negatively too much, it's time to, you know, get a hold of that, of those thoughts. Um, here with the Emperor, you are more empowered than you realize here. So staying in balance is very, very significant. Okay, Cancer, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to me, please do subscribe. And if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please check out northeasttower.com. I wish you all a wonderful week. Take care.